face oh, off to the full. You did it. Hey, I'm Chris. <laughs> I'm Dave. <laughs> You can't get yourself over from what? I can't get myself over to the fall. Ah. It's difficult. Like she said, Chris, no. Dave, welcome. Hey audience, nice to see you today. It has been beautiful, it is not today, but that is good for me. We're here to react to videos, to music, to music videos. Predominantly to a lot of music that normally you wouldn't maybe listen to or know about, but yeah. that's uh, the point of it all, really. But last time, check it out, there, <laughs> I did know the song, which was a very pleasant surprise. Yes, you did. And then before that, you enjoyed the song, Angel Song. Yeah, yeah. And also last week I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, bartender? Bartender. Oh, this Wait, I know this. I remember things. Ding! Sometimes. Dave is very handy to have around because he has like a brain full of movie and song knowledge. So whenever I'll be like, what's the guy called from the, you know, the movie with the, you know, the robot thing and he like kills things and you, he'll be like. Oh, I wasn't really paying attention to that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And that is how we function as a couple. Yeah, stick around. For episode six of the Life is Peachy podcast, I was lucky enough to be joined by the drummer from a great Australian band called Alpha Wolf, Mitchell Fogarty. <laughs> it was a really lovely chat. He was really open with me talking about what the last 12 months has been like for him and the band, but mainly him through the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Mitch also comes from a background of really loving new metal music <laughs> and the conversation went into this really lovely tangent of just talking about when we first fell in love with new metal, the bands, why. Alpha Wolf I really like because in many ways they're an evolved style of this new metal uh, foundation. And there's a lot of bands that are doing this now. New metalcore, new deathcore, even new new metal. Things like that just make me grumpy. Yeah, <laughs> the subgenres. A lot of these bands are kind of taking a lot of things from the new metal sound mm -hmm. and doing that, but in their own way. Well, and it's a 20 year cycle, isn't it? Yeah, it's really yeah, it's about that now, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like waving the new metal flag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love to talk about this stuff, you know that, and it was great to be able to bounce back with someone about it also. And I was thinking, you know what, let's do something a little bit different today. Let's play something inspired from the podcast episode. I am talking about bands and vocalists that really was such a big inspiration to me because, believe it or not, back in the day, one of my earlier dreams was, you know this, to be in a band. Uh, to be in a new metal band. Yeah, I love this music, but I wanted to be one of those bands, one of those vocalists, and so I'm gonna play today for you the band that really made me think it was possible. Cool. I'm keeping it in the vein of an Australian artist because like I mentioned right. before, Alpha Wolf, a fantastic band from Australia. They're doing a lot for the heavy music scene in Australia and internationally. Even I've... Dave has worked with them before as well. So you link that, link that down below as well. I, think. I will, yeah. yes. Cool. They just celebrated two year anniversary of one of their EPs and I was lucky enough to make a documentary with them in the Netherlands two years ago for that. That's been re-released by the band and I did a music video with them too. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> We're just gonna get into it, otherwise I'll just keep talking. Yes. This is from the Gold Coast Australia. Some photo. Oh, I know this name. I know this name, baby. Some photo. Lift. Lift. You know, like dirty dance. Oh, these are the moments mm -hmm. that I I dream of every night. Sharing. <laughs> I drink sweats even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dreams really do come true. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Decor. There he is. There he is. Jason Brown. That's his name? <laughs> That's like the John Smith of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He represented by Australia at least. Oh, they're babies. Look at them. They're kids. They are kids. 
like that bridge. That's cool. Yeah. I wonder if you could just sing that song back. I get that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I love you, Saint Glodo. between 14 to 18, they got signed to Sony Music, and all of a sudden they were this nationwide band. Mm. And I remember thinking, if they can do it, I can do it. And it was so inspiring. My best friends, we put together a new metal band, so cool. and Sunk Lodo were my biggest inspiration. And then from there, many other bands then fell into place to inspire me also. My band's first ever gig was at a local festival in the area I'm from. We played on the same bill as Sunk Lodo. They headlined the festival and we opened one of the tents of the festival. And I just remember thinking that was enough. Yeah. Like it was so cool to be on the same poster as Sunk Lodo. And then for years and years I would see Sunk Lodo play live in Brisbane all the time. It was amazing. That band changed my life. It's so cool because like often when we talk about your childhood it seems like you really had a lot of feelings of possibilities for you. Mm -hmm. 
that if you tried it, you could just try it. There might have been doubts, but like you, you really sound as if like that was the general feeling of your childhood. I could just try it. Yeah. And that's how you've always approached your work as well, like your video work, and, and that's really cool. Calls. That's kind of how that happens. Well. Yeah. yeah, and this, I guess. I learned a lot from that, and I, yeah, I think that's really, really inspiring. <laughs> Mario. Yeah, because you have a moustache. So it's really unique to me. I mean, you have squirrels, all that kind of jazz. It's cool. I'm looking at the planties outside, and I'm so happy because they look so happy. I did this. Okay, I'll put the shovel away. Oh no. <laughs> Today is a comedy of animals. I just really wanted to do it, and I wanted to express myself through writing lyrics and having fun with my friends and a lot of the time our crowd was just mates from school yeah. and that was enough and you were saying they look so young because for me when I watch it back now they get younger and younger yeah. but at the time they I, were you yeah they were me or everyone just seemed older they were my age but I was like whoa looking up to them so so wise so seasoned so inspiring yeah that's cool yeah what do you think of it? I thought it was a really cool clip. The past few years have been the moments where I'm like, everybody that's kind of emerging in different scenes, could be anything, is kind of younger than me. And I see these these guys and I'm like, wow, they're so young. And it's cool that they just did it and went for it. It probably would have brought a lot of stress or problems with it too, like being signed to a label that young. You guys were kind of at the start of like the digital era. Yeah. And that's also really cool to see. You can see it in the way that it's filmed and it's funny because like heavy music by a long shot doesn't doesn't grind me the wrong way as much as it did when I first heard it through <laughs> you. But I'd just be like, just two more minutes. <laughs> but just that's... another song. Hello. Honey. Yeah. One more song. Yes. <laughs> I'm done now. There was one bit uh, in it where he did a really intense scream and I was just like because <laughs> <laughs> like it gets in my ears and I'm just like whoa but but I liked it a lot yeah I think it's cool cool energy a lot of the, the fashion <laughs> like the, the pants with the socks yeah the super baggy pants and they're like shorts but they're so yeah. baggy that it's yeah like, like three quarters nearly <laughs> yeah it's oh like God. made for someone five times your size like, yeah it's really weird everything I owned back then was Two sizes too big. No uh, wonder you still have that tendency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not knowing how to buy fitted clothes. Yeah. Um, but he, he had the eyebrow piercing, yeah. and I, I got that as well. He painted his nails black. I saw that, that looked cool. He's wearing nail polish. The shirt that he's wearing, the button up burgundy maroon. Mm -hmm. I even brought a shirt that was as similar to that as possible to wear that when I performed live. <laughs> and the way he cups the microphone, holding it to the side. Yeah. The hands, the posture. I noticed the way that he dresses is kind of like a super tough, but also has like very flamboyant elements in it. And I think yes. that's always super interesting. In general, when people are into something, that's so cool. Yeah, for sure. Whatever it is, really. Although if you have 10,000 porcelain dolls in your house, I might be a bit creeped out. I've just got 9,999, so I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What would Chris do? Okay, three, two, one. What would you wear if you went into new metal? Oh boy. What would Chris do? Well, you have to give me a second to like browse my Pinterest. No metal style. Hey, kitty. Kitty. Is that kitty? That's kitty. Yeah. That's cool. Ooh, I like that. I'll make a little board for you. Which is very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Like very, very exciting. Definitely as an accessory, wear that boss ass red spiky guitar. That looks awesome. <laughs> Great. I would definitely also have my hair dyed red. Ooh, I like this. Dyed well. red. Oh, we so she's bass player from Cold Chamber. Cool. I would have my hair probably something like that, but maybe also with um, you know, the, like the little the ponytails like this. Oh yeah, cool. it's coming back. It's coming back. Things are happening again. That's like, Kitty again, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I love Kitty, by the way. Yeah, they look really cool. Well, you essentially could be in Kitty. 
which would be really cool. <laughs> I would do it, definitely. <laughs> I pay to see that. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are fans of Kitty, be sure to subscribe to the channel because you never know what the future may hold. Maybe I would also be a bit of a mix between like Kitty and Spice Girls aesthetic. Because uh, I do like me a bit, bit of bubblegum pop. Yeah. Bubblegum. Bubblegum pop. Bubble. Bubblegum pop. Maybe we can wear that to Halloween one year. Yeah, we're rating the thing. But maybe also I would have short spiky hair. <laughs> I get very excited once we start talking about clothes. We're rating it. How many peaches are we giving it? Okay, well, you know, a solid four peaches. Oh. Four out of five peaches. That means my heart. <laughs> and your butt. <laughs> yeah. Cool song. Like, I didn't talk about the music much, but I liked it. You uh, did? Yeah. yeah, no, I did. Uh, what did you like about it? It was very groovy. Sometimes new metal can be very... Lots of instruments really, like, in it. <laughs> and yeah. now it, like, all sounded like a, like, like a thing. Like okay. a, like a okay. thing together. Mm -hmm. This is like expert music stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did that when they were kids, so kudos to you for doing your thing. Excellent, I can't complain with that. That was a great <laughs> review. Um, well, that was Sunk Lodo. That was Sunk Lodo. Lift. That idea was taken from episode 6 of the Life is Peachy podcast. My chat with lovely human being, Mitchell Fogarty. If you haven't checked it out by now, please do. And check out the Alpha Wolf YouTube binge video lists. I make one for each podcast as well, so if you're not familiar with the band, you can just head to the playlist and check that out. There's some Sunbody music videos in there too. Yeah, well, it's a lots win -win. of stuff for you to check yeah. out. If you have to choose one thing, just go to the podcast. Put it on while you're cooking dinner or something. Thanks, I'll honey. listen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, honey. Yeah. Now back to the kitchen you go. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of kitchen. Speaking, yeah. <laughs> Talking of cooking. Time for breakfast. Time of the day. <laughs> well, as always, it was lovely, lovely hanging out with you, <laughs> watching new metal. Oh, that guy can't complain, can he? No, he never. Dream come true. Dream, dream, dream come true. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. We really do appreciate it. Yes, you're cool. Mm. Uh, don't know what the gun hands because we'll you. we leave less guns in the world, but <laughs> gun hands are okay. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time guys, take care! Bye. <laughs>